Here's everything we know about Resident Evil 4 Remake. We knew a Resident Evil 4 Remake was coming whether people liked it or not, but now it's official with a swanky new trailer and everything. Naturally, people are worried about how different Resident Evil 4 Remake could be compared with the original, especially when the combat was relatively modern compared to the older Resident Evil titles. Does an overhaul in graphics alone justify the remake? Well, does that question matter if you're going to play the crap out of it anyway? The Resident Evil 4 Remake has been in the works for a while, but we've finally got some solid information, including an exact release date. Resident Evil 4 Remake is slated to launch on March 24, 2023. Resident Evil 4 Remake will be available for the PS5, and was confirmed back in June 2022 to arrive on other platforms, such as the Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PC. If you played the original, you know what Resident Evil 4 Remake is about. However, it's entirely possible that some story elements might change, especially concerning the presentation, so let's not assume anything yet. According to a blog post, what we know so far is that six years have passed since the biological disaster in Raccoon City. Leon Kennedy, one of the survivors of the incident, has been recruited as an agent reporting directly to the president. With the experience of multiple missions on his back, Leon is sent to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the president of the United States. He tracks her to a secluded European village, where there is something terribly wrong with the villagers. And the curtain rises on this story of grueling survival horror and rescue. This storyline sounds pretty identical to the premise of the original, which is what we expected. However, given how long the original Resident Evil 4 was, we might encounter a few twists and turns that we weren't expecting. Capcom has a lot of wiggle room to flip the order of some events to make it feel fresh. Although, people just looking for a prettier nostalgia trip through Resident Evil 4 might not be fans of that. We saw an interesting third-person shot of Ashley, the president's daughter, which might mean we get to play as her in this iteration. Like how you play Sherry in Resident Evil 2, this could be a truly spooky and enjoyable section if done well. The real point in question is how Resident Evil 4 Remake will play. Just from the trailer and what we know about Resident Evil 4, it already feels like a mix between Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 2, at least in terms of the action and survival horror aspect. We also see a shot of Chief Mendez in a trench coat and little hat, giving off extreme Mr. X vibes. It's possible that he might have a bigger role in hunting you throughout the village and castle, which would be awesome. There are also some shots of a revamped Luis and Ada. I hope that we get to play sections as both Luis and Ada Wong. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see any actual gameplay, apart from Leon walking around in cinematic fashion. I am super hyped for the Resident Evil 4 Remake. While the Resident Evil 3 Remake wasn't the best, that spoke more to the quality of the original game than the remake. The original Resident Evil 4 is long as hell, and I'm hoping that Capcom not only sticks to the original's length, but also adds in some much needed diversity in playable characters. So what's your thoughts on this remake let us know by commenting below. As always thanks for watching. If you enjoy content like this please consider subscribing and get notified.